Hello, my name is Enrique Barriuso and I'm a consultant at Symmetry in the civil and infrastructure sector. In this video, I will be showing the top new features in Civil 3D 2025. I will be showing surfaces, corridors, geolocation and Dynamo for Civil 3D. A reduced level of detail has been introduced with surfaces. It can be set from Prospector, from the right-click menu, or from the contextual ribbon. If you go to Settings, you can set it so that new surfaces are created with a reduced level of detail. And from the command line, you have commands to set the surface level of detail for a particular surface or for all the surfaces in the drawing. A new corridor creation workflow allows you to easily select multiple baselines. If you select a single alignment, you will ask for a profile and you can then set the assembly or you can select multiple alignments using a selection window and you can set the assembly at this point or do it in the dialog. You can disregard some of the alignments and set the assemblies. And you can follow a similar process for feature lines. For feature lines, you also have the option to filter by name, style, layer, or site. You can then confirm in the basin and region parameters dialog and create the corridor. Corridor surface creation is now three to four times faster. There is a new drawing variable, AECC, Fast Corridor Surface Build. If you set it to zero, it will generate the corridor surface normally. If you set it to one, it will generate the corridor surface faster at the cost of visual fidelity. There is a new interface to set the coordinate system. We can use the geocs assign command and we can pick the coordinate system and the vertical datum. And we can assign it from this dialog and it will be assigned to the join. If the enable CS support feature is on from the command line, when you import a DM file on a surface, you can get the same interface to set the coordinate system. And for geolocation, there are now additional S3 high resolution maps that can be used. in Dynamo for Civil 3D. In the new package manager dialog, you can search for packets and you can filter 
based on dependencies. You can look at the details of a package. You can publish a package, look at the list of packages that you have installed and packages that you have uploaded and change package settings. You can search nodes by category using a period. So list.g will look for all the nodes in the list category that start with a G. The watch node has been improved to be more readable with multi-line text. The scroll bars will be visible by default. You can expand it using this handle. Two new nodes have been introduced the gate node and the remember node. The gate node will allow data to pass through when it's open and it will pass null when it's closed. The remember node will pass the previous valid run, the previous valid input, if null is passed into that remember node. So if I keep the gate open and I change the coordinates of this point, that's passing through and the remember node is updating. But if I close the gate, the gate will pass null and it will remember the previous value that was valid and it will use that to run the script. If I pick a value that is outside of the selected modeling range, it will show it as an info state rather than a warning state. Those were the top new features in Civil 3D 2025, the level of detail that can be applied at the surface level, the new corridor workflow to apply multiple baselines, the ESRI maps that are now available in the geolocation feature, and some new nodes in Dynamo for Civil 3D, like the gate and the remember node. I hope the video was useful. Thanks for watching.